All right, so you may have just a simple ankle sprain or an ankle injury that you can still walk out on, but it does need some support. So a way to brace the ankle in that kind of case is just to tape the ankle and give it some additional support. And what I like about this technique is, one, you can do it underneath the sock and the shoe or the footwear, whatever they're wearing, so they can still walk out and have that protection. Uh, and it's not going to interfere. But I also like it because even if you don't have medical tape, you could improvise this with duct tape, gorilla tape, whatever you have in your kit. So it's a good technique to learn. Uh, and with this, I use what I call the rule of threes. Uh, and that is basically the rule of thumb for taping an ankle injury. So I'm going to start three inches above the actual injury. And typically with an ankle injury, what we see is that they roll to the outside. So the injured portion is actually away from me right now, and this is the uninjured ankle right here. So everything that I do, just to keep it simple, I'm gonna start on the uninjured side and work my way around. But rule of threes, three inches above, I'm gonna establish kind of an anchor point where I want to start and stop my tape job. So that gives me kind of a landmark right there to tape to. And then what I'm gonna do is, the second part of the rule of threes is I wanna start with three stirrups. And those stirrups are gonna support this in a position of function this way. And I'm gonna start obviously on the uninjured side and work my way around to the injured side from this part of the anchor point all the way around to this part of the anchor point. And just to measure that out so that I'm not messing with the ankle too much, I'm gonna put it the sticky side out to kind of measure my tape real quick. That should work. And then I'm gonna start there, going directly down the center of that ankle in that position of function. Wrap it around, providing support up the back side until I get to my anchor point again. And I'm gonna secure that tape down. So that's my first stirrup. I'm going to do two more stirrups and when I'm doing the additional stirrups I'm going to offset one a little bit higher than that middle strip and one a little bit lower than that middle strip. Do the best you can when you're putting this on there to not put any wrinkles in there because they're gonna be walking on this and those wrinkles can end up being hot spots that turn into blisters and that'll compound your problem. And you wanna cover all the exposed skin as best you can. So there are my three stirrups, and I'm going to anchor those off with another circumferential wrap at the top. And there is my anchor strip. Those are my three stirrups. The next part, rule of threes, is I want to do three teardrops. So that teardrop is going to start, again, on the uninjured side. It's going to come around capture the bottom of the foot, and it's gonna actually come up over the top of the foot and end back where it started. It's gonna create kind of that teardrop shape. Starting in the middle, come around the top of the foot, back to where I started. Two more of those. Offsetting like we did before. Check everything out. That looks good. Then I'm going to anchor those off. And 
Now that I've got my three stirrups, my three teardrops, the last part of the rule of threes is three figure eights. So with the figure eight, I'm gonna start on the uninjured side. I'm gonna come down and across the uninjured ankle, around the bottom of the foot, come back over the top. Then I'm gonna go around the uninjured side behind the Achilles, up over the injured side, cross over the top of the foot with the tape, and I'm gonna end up right down here. I'm gonna do three of those. Come down around, kind of like I'm starting my teardrop. Rather than go back up here though, I'm gonna cross over to that uninjured ankle, around the back side of the Achilles, capture that injured ankle, cross over the top of the foot, and finish off down here towards the bottom. That's one figure eight. I'm gonna do two more of those offset. Cross over the top. So last strip we've offset, came around the bottom, across the top of the foot, across the uninjured ankle behind the Achilles, over the injured ankle, crossing back over the top of the foot, and finishing up underneath. Now this last anchor strip, what I want to do is make sure that I don't have any exposed skin. So I'm going to anchor those off and look for any place that I may have exposed skin right there behind the Achilles. So I want to make sure this is completely supported and there's no points of friction that are going to happen. So again, the, one of the great things about this is they can now put their footwear back on and this is gonna provide them plenty of support. Keep in mind that you have circumferential wrapping here, meaning you wrapped the circumference of the leg and anytime you do that to an extremity, there is a concern for circulation. So you wanna check that capillary refill. And then as time goes on with an injury, you should expect that there would be some swelling. So you want to continually reassess this, recheck this. If this tape becomes too tight and cuts off circulation down here, then you need to take this off and come up with another intervention or tape it a little more loosely. But this is a great thing for a usable ankle injury that may be all the support that he needs in order to get out and be able to self-rescue. I, I feel the one hair is gonna hurt. And that was painless right there. Whew. Also relatively painless. <laughs> yeah. I think a Band-Aid hurts worse. What about this one? Maybe I'm going too fast. <sighs> no, that's not bad at all. Nothing? Nope. <laughs> oh, that was disappointing. Wow. Any hair? <laughs> I got more leaves than I got hair. <laughs> I got strong ass leg hair. I'm highly disappointed by that. No. Nah. Did we grab the duct tape? We could, yeah, gorilla tape. Adhesive. It didn't hurt too bad. It's got a better adhesive on it. Oh, yeah, the gorilla tape.